After its first attempt to collect a core sample last month came up empty, Perseverance appears to have succeeded on its second try. But did it really? Tango Delta. Touchdown confirmed. Perseverance safely on the surface of Mars. On August 6th, Perseverance attempted to collect its first core sample on the floor of the feature known as CETA. But the rocks there are so weathered that the drill core crumbled before it could be extracted. Now Perseverance has climbed out of CETA and encountered bedrock that is more resistant to erosion, and so presumably stronger and more likely to produce a solid core. A broken slab of the bedrock looked like a good, relatively dust-free target. Here's a rock hammer for scale. MassCam Z shows a surface polished and fluted by sandblasting over eons of time. The first order of business was to grind a hole in the rock using the abrading bit to expose the interior. As presented in episode 15, the drill on Perseverance uses both rotary and percussion for efficiency, just like hammer drills on Earth. The abrading bit spins at 37 RPM and hammers at about 30 cycles per second. This action caused the rock to sink in a bit, as evident from the disturbed sand, it also rattled some pebbles loose and chipped off a piece of the fluted surface. Not exactly a delicate operation. The abrading bit produces a lot of powder that remains in the hole. That's where the gas dust removal tool comes in. G-Dirt uses a tank of compressed nitrogen gas fed through a nozzle to blast dust away. The result is a clean view of the rock's interior. The close-up view from Watson reveals a remarkably colorful rock. Here's a quarter for scale. It has reddish-brown colors that probably come from rusting of iron by water. The greenish-gray bits may be the volcanic mineral olivine, and the whitish bits may be minerals precipitated from water after the rock formed. All of this is notably similar to the rock on the floor of Sita that Perseverance first tried to core so a sample in this new location may be comparable. With a scientifically interesting rock, the next operation is to use the coring bit with a sample tube mounted inside to try to collect a piece. The coring operation produced a nice hole in the rock. The drill tailing spilled down the rock and filled in the abraded hole. The drill bit was extracted and pointed toward MassCam Z for inspection. Unlike the first attempt, this time it's obvious that there's a core in the tube. It's interesting to see that the same colors are evident in the rock from the bottom of the hole as was seen by Watson, which suggests that the water alteration goes deep. The next procedure in the automated sequence is to tilt the bit upward and perform the percuss to ingest operation to settle the core and clear any loose bits from the tip. It's really just vibrating the bit, but here's a super slow-mo and exaggerated version of that action. The result definitely settled the core, but now the concern is whether it might have actually ejected it. The view into the bit is a black hole no evidence of the core, but based on comparison with the empty bit from the first attempt, a black hole may be a good thing. In that case, the shininess of the empty tube was evident. The tubes have gold-colored titanium nitride coating, which reflects light. So seeing no light reflected from the tube means there's something in there. MassCam Z shot some images with longer exposure to try to see inside. I processed one to better highlight the inside of the tube. Sure enough, there's mottled coloring and even a shape recognizable from the core before it was vibrated. So it looks like there really is a rock core inside the tube this time. The next steps will confirm the presence of a core in the tube. Once the tube is taken out of the bit, it can't be reused, so it's better to look for a core while the tube is in the bit. The camera and probe inside the rover will determine how much material is in the tube, then it will be sealed and stored inside. And here's an update for those of you who watched to the end. New images came down as I was wrapping up this episode. MassCam Z shot some images at about 7 a.m. on Mars. The low morning light shining into the bit 
does indeed confirm that the rock core is inside. 